Surface preparation and painting. Identification of condition of corrosion on the surface. It is basically defined as a natural process that causes the transformation of pure metals into undesirable substances when they react with substances like water or air. This reaction causes damage and disintegration of the metal starting from the portion of the metal exposed to the environment and spreading to the entire bulk of the metal. Corrosion Types and Prevention the basics of corrosion, from the fundamental chemical reaction to the types of environments in which corrosion can occur. As corrosion most often occurs in aqueous environments, we now explore the different types of degradation a metal can experience Uniform in such corrosion. conditions. Uniform corrosion is considered an even attack across the surface of a material and is the most common type of corrosion. It is also the most benign as the extent of the attack is relatively easily judged, and the resulting impact on material performance is fairly easily evaluated due to an ability to consistently reproduce and test the phenomenon. This type of corrosion typically occurs over relatively large areas of a material's surface. Pitting Corrosion Pitting is one of the most destructive types of corrosion, as it can be hard to predict, detect and characterize. Pitting is a localized form of corrosion, in which either a local anodic point, or more commonly a cathodic point, forms a small corrosion cell with the surrounding normal surface. Once a pit has initiated, it grows into a hole, or cavity, that takes on one of a variety of different shapes. Pits typically penetrate from the surface downward in a vertical direction. Pitting corrosion can be caused by a local break or damage to the protective oxide film or a protective coating. It can also be caused by non-uniformities in the metal structure itself. Pitting is dangerous because it can lead to failure of the structure with a relatively low overall loss of metal. Corrosion is also a localized form of corrosion and usually results from a stagnant microenvironment in which there is a difference in the concentration of ions between two areas of a metal. Crevice corrosion occurs in shielded areas such as those under washers, bolt heads, gaskets, etc. Where oxygen is restricted. Intergranular corrosion an examination of the microstructure of a metal reveals the grains that form during solidification of the alloy, as well as the grain boundaries between them. Intergranular corrosion occurs along or adjacent to these grains, seriously affecting the mechanical properties of the metal while the bulk of the metal remain intact. Stress corrosion cracking SCC, is a result of the combination of tensile stress and a corrosive environment, often at elevated temperatures. It may also result from residual stress imparted during the manufacturing process such as from cold forming, welding, machining, grinding, etc. In stress corrosion, the majority of the surface usually remains intact. However, fine cracks appear in the microstructure, making the corrosion hard to detect. Galvanic corrosion. Galvanic corrosion is the degradation of one metal near a joint or juncture that occurs when two electrochemically dissimilar metals are in electrical contact in an electrolytic environment, for example, when copper is in contact with steel in a saltwater environment. 